Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. With me today, I have Alf Stewart, who is the Vice President of Corporate Development at Searchlight Resources. How are you today, Alf? Fine, thank you, Fiona. Now, let's talk a little bit. It's an exciting time to be involved in gold, but let's set things up first and foremost. Tell us a little bit about Searchlight Resources. Searchlight is a public company, trades under the symbol SCLT on the TSX Venture. It's involved in exploration in Saskatchewan, Canada. It has seven projects. Its focus is on gold. Excellent stuff. And we'll talk about the gold in a minute. But uh, let's talk about uh, yourself, your team, and the people behind the scenes at Searchlight. I'm a retired investment banker. I met the CEO of Searchlight in January of this year. And I looked at the company, and I thought it was a tremendous opportunity. So I've joined the board and management and uh, the company's really about what Stephen Wallace, the CEO, has done. Here we are, and uh, like I said, it is uh, an exciting time. Gold is at an all-time high as we speak. So let's talk about uh, one of your properties specifically. It's the English Bay property uh, in Saskatchewan. English Bay is an interesting property because it was discovered at possibly the worst time in history for gold. March of 1997, was the month where it was disclosed that there was no gold at Busang, and what followed was a collapse in the gold market because of the biggest fraud in the gold mining market history. At the same time, a group of prospectors were drilling the property at English Bay and had encountered high-grade gold, but no one cared because of this overall bear market. So the property has basically been sitting there for the last 20 years. And we've just recently announced that our geologist has visited the property and we've come out with news disclosing what the geologist has found. Well, let's talk about what they've found. What's in this, uh, the press release literally just came out, but uh, give us the, the details. So the property is, is right next to the highway, about 15 kilometers north of La Ronge, Saskatchewan. It's only 200 meters from the highway. There have been 35 holes drilled by the prospectors between 1997 and 2003. All of that work was done privately, and there wasn't a, a professional geologist supervising the work. So our geologist from a, a local Saskatchewan uh, company called Axiom Exploration Group has just viewed the property, and our news release discloses that they have found the core from 20 years ago to be in perfect condition. They've observed visible gold in the core, and they have found many samples that can be reprocessed in the lab. Very exciting stuff. So you've got one other property that we want to touch on today. Tell us about uh, the other project. So a key to this company is our projects are acquired in places that are road accessible. Many uh, exploration projects in Canada require you to get in a float plane or a helicopter and fly to a very remote location. And our CEO has deliberately picked up properties that are road accessible. And you can't get much more accessible than our property in eastern Saskatchewan, right outside of Flin Flon, Manitoba. Flin Flon is a major mining center. It has an operating copper mine right in the middle of town and a major copper smelter. Mm -hmm. And about 10 kilometers from there, we have our property. You can see the, uh, the copper smelter smokestack from our property, actually. And it is a, a, a former producing mine. And there are actually three other former producers that have produced gold over the last 50 years. So we've got four former producers all on a property that's road accessible just outside of Flin Flon. Excellent stuff. And going forward, let's talk about what's happening. What are your short term milestones? What is next for Searchlight? Well, based on the review by our geologists of the English Bay property, we are uh, planning to do a drill program this fall to verify that there's a gold discovery at English Bay. And beyond that, we're going to do surface work on our property uh, outside of Flin Flon. We're going to identify drilling targets there as well. And uh, let's talk to investors. Why Searchlight? Searchlight is not a well-known company. It was previously known as, as Canyon Copper. Its uh, former CEO was a, a famous award-winning geologist who passed away suddenly in 2017. And he had been focusing on Nevada. So it was previously called Canyon Copper. And in 2017, uh, Stephen Wallace took over the company and acquired this portfolio of properties in Saskatchewan. So up until this year, the company didn't have a lot of money, had to settle debts with uh, the estate of the former CEO. We've now financed and we're able to commence exploration. Excellent stuff. Well, we can't wait to catch up with you and find out what's next uh, for Searchlight. Thank you so much for joining us, Al. 
You're welcome. And if you want to find out more information on what we've been speaking out today, you can just go to the website. It is searchlightresources.com for Investment Pitch Media. I'm Fiona Forbes.